Hello everyone, let's look at steps to enable Hyper-V on Windows 11 Pro. These instructions are not meant for Windows 11 Home because that edition of Windows does not support this technology. However, there is a workaround, but that goes beyond the topic of this video. Just to give you a little bit of context, the Hyper-V feature is a technology that includes all the elements to create and manage virtual machines, allowing you to run other instances of Windows 11 and other versions of the operating system or even other platforms such as Linux alongside the main installation. If you want to learn more about this feature, check the video in the description to find the link to the full tutorial. Before you can enable Hyper-V on Windows 11, you have to make sure to enable virtualization at the hardware level instead of the UEFI framework. If you don't have this feature enabled, check your device manufacturer to find the specific details on how to complete this task. Now, to determine if Hyper-V is already enabled on your computer, you can use the system information app. And to do that, open start and look for system information. Click on summary, and then at the bottom of the page, confirm if you have this message. If it reads, a hypervisor has been detected, features required for Hyper-V will not be displayed, then virtualization is enabled on your computer. Now, to give you the general guidance on how to enable virtualization on the UEFI framework on your computer, do this. Open the settings app, go to system, then go to recovery, and click the restart now button for advanced startup, and then click the restart now button. Now, click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then click on UEFI framework settings, and then click the restart button. Now, I'm using a virtual machine, so those specific settings are not available, but depending on the framework that you have on your computer, you can find the settings on configuration, security, or in the advanced page. And then you need to enable the feature, which sometimes may appear as virtualization technology, Intel virtual technology, or FDN mode but the name of the feature will vary depending on the manufacturer. Once you enable the feature, save the changes and restart the computer. Now, to actually enable Hyper-V on Windows 11, this is what you do. First, open Start and look for Settings. Then go to System, Optional Features, and then click on More Windows Features. And on this page, make sure to check the Hyper-V option. And this will select the other components that you need to install. Make sure that everything is selected and then click the OK button. After the installation, you will need to restart the computer. And then just click the Restart Now button. Now, if you want to enable Hyper-V using PowerShell, this is what you do. Open Start and look for the terminal. Right click on it and select the Run Server option. Then open a PowerShell console. I'm going to clear the screen. And then you want to run this command, enable Windows optional feature, online, feature name, Microsoft, Hyper-V, all, and press enter. Then type Y and press enter to restart the computer. Now, if you want to use command prompt, open start, look for the terminal, right click and run as administrator. And then we're going to be using the disin command like this, disin, online enable feature all feature name microsoft hyper v and then press enter then type y and the computer will restart to apply the changes now this video is specific to enabling the feature but once you turn it on you will find the hyper v manager on the start menu and from here you can create your virtual machines you can even use the quick create option to quickly create different virtual machines, including for Windows 10, Windows 11, and Ubuntu Linux. Now, if you want to disable Hyper-V on Windows 11 Pro, just go to Settings, System, Optional Features, More Windows Features, clear the Hyper-V option, click OK, and restart the computer. Now, if you want to disable Hyper-V using PowerShell, just open Start, look for the terminal, run it as administrator, open a PowerShell console if that didn't open directly. And then you want to type basically the same command that we typed before, but right now we're using the disable variant, which is disable, which is disable Windows optional feature, online feature name, Microsoft Hyper-V all, and press enter. Press Y and press enter to apply the changes by restarting the computer.
Now, if you want to disable Hyper-V using command prompt, then open star, look for the terminal, right click and run as an administrator. And then we're going to type the Dsyn Online Disable Feature Microsoft Hyper-V command, as you see it on the screen, and press enter. Type Y and press enter to restart the computer. And that's it. That is how you enable and disable Microsoft Hyper-V on Windows 11 Pro. Let me know in the comments if you're using this feature and in what operating system are you running virtualized on your computer. Also, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.